You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, episode 18. Today is an Ask Lindsay episode, and uh, this is a good one, and I want you to stick around and listen. You're listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast, where we believe business can be simple and you can use your intuition to run towards your goal. Self-made business and success coach, Lindsay Maloney, helps you start and scale your dream coaching business. With her step-by-step intuitive and creative guidance, you'll leave ready to put her tips into action, push your business forward, and work with your dream clients. Lindsay is here to help you get unstuck and structure your brilliance into a coaching business that's sustainable and financially exhilarating. Here's your host, Lindsay Maloney. Before we get started with this episode, I want to talk to you about my program, Standout Coaching Academy, or SOCA as everyone calls it. It's a 90-day program that's going to help you book your dream clients, and this is perfect for you if you are a coach who is ready to create, launch, or scale your coaching business, if you want to fill your calendar up with dream clients who inspire you, and you want to make an impact in the world with work that you feel called to do, I want you to enroll in SOCA. SOCA is an extremely powerful program that will take your coaching business to the next level, and I have three ways that you can join me right now, be a part of the 90 90-day program, join other like-minded women, network with them, learn the best ways that you can build your coaching business just the way that I have created and scaled mine so you can stop having those sleepless nights with all the information overload and stop doing everything by yourself. So many coaches are struggling to get their businesses started and I want that to stop right now. So I'm inviting you to go to standoutcoachingacademy.com, check it out and enroll. Okay, so today's question comes from Jen, and she's asking, is it a good idea to launch your program during the holidays? And I'm going to give you the most annoying answer ever. I don't know. Why don't you try it? (laughs) I would get so annoyed when I would ask my coach things that I thought he has to give me a definitive answer. Is this a good idea or not? And he would say, I don't know. Have you tried it? Have you tested it? And I would say, no. And he'd say, then go try it and see. So annoying, isn't it? I know you were expecting me to say, no, it's not appropriate to launch a program during the holidays because you won't make any sales, so put it off. Or I could say, yeah, go launch your program because you're going to make so many sales because everyone's excited for the new year. That's Those are the two things you're expecting to hear. And I can't tell you one or the other. One, because I don't know your audience. Number two, I don't know what you're selling. And number three, it doesn't matter what I say when it comes to timing or when or what you should do because I want you to run your business intuitively. I don't want you to run your business on what anybody else tells you to do. What would happen if you launched a program in December and it didn't sell? That's the worst thing that could happen. It didn't sell. You spent some time launching. Nobody bought oh well, at least you provided a lot of value to a bunch of people and now they know you and when you launch again in February or January maybe, they might be ready. What if you put your launch off for another two months? You might get cold feet and you might just procrastinate. What happens if you wait? You might build your audience more. You might have more ideas for your launch strategy, etc. There's so many factors in here that we we have to just throw out the window because it's always different. Every launch is different. There's no like right way to launch or wrong way to launch. It's you're going to figure out your best way only by doing it yourself. You can get all of the launch course material from all of the coaches out there. You can get all the guidance from the, the best people out there. But it, it's not going to necessarily matter because it. what really matters is your connection with the people who are listening to you right now and when you're launching. That's all that matters. People want connection. They want to feel like, okay, this person knows exactly what they're talking about and I know that they're going to give me results. Where's the payment button? I've had really successful launches. I've had launches that I wish that would have gone better. And when I first started, I had launches that 
pretty much could never have existed because nobody bought because I put too much stock in them. What I was, I was doing a lot of things wrong. There are actually some wrong things that you can do when you're launching. Number one is create the program and then try and sell it. That's the number one tip I'm going to give you. Do not ever create a program and then try to sell it. That's backwards. You're going to launch a program, sell it, and then create it as you go because there is no point in making a program that you have no no clue what people really need as you go through it. Because what if, like for example, when I first launched Soka, I did not create any content for it at all. I launched the program, I sold the program, and then as we went through it, I delivered the content weekly and they got content that was completely customized to what they were going through in the program, which was great because then it can give you really great results because it's made just for these students. Then when I launched Soka again, I found that the audience was a little bit different than the first round. So I had to pivot and create more content that fit their needs, but I still had the basic structure of the program that was already created. Now, what would happen if I would have made the program for let's say the second round students like that's the program that I made and then sold it to the people who bought it the first round it would have been on it would have been too overwhelming for that for that round so that's why you don't that's another reason why you don't create program content before you sell it because you don't know the audience that's going to get it and what if it wouldn't have sold at all then I would have had this program that's sitting here on my desktop creating dust because nobody bought it. I would have put negativity into that because, oh, this didn't sell. This isn't a good program. And then I would have not probably never touched it again. And then, then what would have happened? Then Soka wouldn't even have existed and changed so many women's lives. I wouldn't, that wouldn't have happened. When you put a bunch of effort into something and you do it backwards and it doesn't go as you plan, then It just doesn't shine as brightly as it should. And then you actually end up wasting a lot of time, which time is irreplaceable. And so that's the, again, that's the biggest tip I can give you. Do not create your program and then launch it. Obviously you probably don't want to pitch a program on Christmas morning. Like that really wouldn't make much sense, but again, you can try it. (laughs) And if you're specifically asking, let's say I just want to launch one more time in the fourth quarter and you need time to prepare then I would just suggest launch in the first week of December and see how it goes. You're never going to know. And then if it doesn't go as you planned, oh well, because good thing you have plenty of time ahead of you. And that was just a learning experience for your launch. That's it. And it was good and treated as a good learning experience. You're going to learn so much more about your audience by doing instead of holding back and waiting for the perfect time. For example, I know the days of the week that my audience is going to be most engaged in a challenge launch, and I'm probably going to pivot the way I do things in the future because I've done the challenge so many times. I know the days that my audience likes to do webinars, so I will do a webinar on those days. But I would never know any of this information if I would have just stayed hiding behind and trying to plan the perfect time to do something. So I know that's something that we like to just stay comfortable and hidden behind the screen planning out our launch when we're not actually going and doing it. And I'm going off on a totally different road here, but I find that that's just a commonality here. We're always trying to find perfectness in everything. And when it doesn't go our way, we beat ourselves up about it and there's just no point in doing that because what if I came to you and I said, hey, I launched my program last week and it didn't sell. Would you be like, oh, well, because you weren't doing this right and you weren't doing this right and how could you have done this and nobody was really liking this? Would you tell me that? Probably not, right? So why would you tell yourself that? If I said, hey, I want to launch my program in early December, what do you think? I'd say, yeah, go for it. Are you ready? And yeah, I'm ready. I can do it. I'm totally confident in it. Then go and do it because that confidence is going to shine through and you're going to sell that program like no other. And you're going to show them that you guys, you can get a head start on your business by the time everyone in January is always thinking of something new to do. You're going to be a month ahead of everybody. How awesome would that be? You're going to sell it like that. Do whatever you feel aligned to do and prove everybody wrong. If people say don't launch in December, prove them wrong. Have that attitude. I'm going to launch in December and I'm going to sell my program. It's going to be awesome. Just do it. 
and let me know how your results are because I can't wait to hear. If you guys have any questions about launching your programs or creating your programs, please go over to my Facebook group, dreamclientcommunity.com. We, I would love to have a discussion about that stuff with you guys over there. And if you have a question for me, you can go to lindsaymaloney.com slash podcast and you can ask your question via SpeakPipe. You can use my leave a message on the bottom of the screen, email me or DM me. I'd love to feature you on the next episode. Until then, I will see you soon. Want 10 ways for you to start booking your dream clients? I created this workbook for you because I wanted to share my best tips on how I book mine. You're not going to believe how easy these are, and I know you'll be able to take my tips and put them into action ASAP so you can start working with your dream clients. To grab the workbook for free, all you have to do is go to lindsaymaloney.com slash podcast. Hey coaches, are you a member of the Book Your Dream Clients community yet? Because you should be. Just go to dreamclientcommunity.com to request free access. We do fun things like website audits, challenges, and we even have a book club. Join the free Dream Client community now and we'll see you there. Thank you so much for listening to the Book Your Dream Clients podcast. If you want to find out more information, how you can work with me, just head on over to my website, lindsaymaloney.com. You will be able to see how you can work with me privately or in a group setting. I'm all about helping you start and scale your coaching business, so I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe to the show on iTunes and leave a rating and review. And if you want bonus points, take a screenshot of a review and tag me on your Instagram story. I'd love to see it and share it with my audience. And plus, you don't want to miss another episode.